Hello everyone, my name is Jan Heiliges, I'm a vascular surgeon in Tilburg, the Netherlands. And in this presentation, I will compare two overlay techniques for EVAR procedures. My disclosures. Overlay techniques create a per-procedural 3D overlay on screen, and it facilitates endovascular procedures, leading to a reduction of radiation contrast and procedural time. In our hospital, we have two hebrew R's from Philips. They're both equipped with vessel navigator, and we are the first center in the Netherlands to use CIDAR. Uh, just before the pandemic outbreak, we were able to compare nine cases using both systems. This is what the setup looks like. On the left side, the standalone system from CIDAR, and on the right side, on the big screen, vessel navigator. And of course, CIDAR can be projected on the big screen as well. In Vessel Navigator, you have to upload the CTA scan. After positioning the patient, two X-ray images are needed to merge these data. And after merge, you create a rigid overlay that can be selected and repositioned after an angular run. And it's essential to realize that this overlay stays rigid. Inside, you upload the pre-op CT scan in the cloud. And it uses the patient's vertebrae as the frame of reference instead of a table position. If you can identify two or more vertebrae, a 3D overlay automatically appears and it maintains accurate and reliable throughout the procedure. Moreover, the overlay can be adapted to the actual and dynamic vascular anatomy. Few per procedural images left side sidear before and you run on the right side vessel navigator. Again, on the left side, CIDAR, on the right side, Vessel Navigator, after angel run, selective adaption of the anatomy on the base of the angiography can be performed with the CIDAR and cannot be performed with Philips as it is a rigid overlay system. A few examples of the selective adjustment on the left side of the screen at the bifurcation before adjustment on the right side after adjustment Example of adjustment at the iliac bifurcation, left side of the screen before adjustment, right side of the screen after adjustment. A few per procedural images comparing the technologies. First, you see a drawing on the screen, and the arrow indicates the top of a stand graft, and you'd appreciate an overstanding of the left renal artery. Visualization with vessel navigator, a bit more difficult to see, but the Arrow again indicates the top of the stand graft again over the orifice of the left renal artery. Now with the CIDAR system, the arrow again indicates the top of the stand graft, but now it also indicates the lowest part of the orifice of the left renal artery. And it's now clear that we're not overstanding the left renal artery and we're gaining seal, so to speak, when compared to the drawing on the screen of about two to three millimeters. If you then look at the two systems, SIDA comes with a unique deformation tool that uses description that highlights superior performance in relation to deformation images that keep the overlay clinically and technically relevant throughout the entire procedure. Um, they're both user-friendly. Um, SIDA is more accurate. TIVA was only offered in the Philips Vessel Navigator before, but now also with CIDAR. They both reduce the radiation contrast and time when compared to no overlay system at all. CIDAR works in every theater and there was a continuous position information without radiation only available in Philips Vessel Navigator, but it's now updated in CIDAR as well. CIDAR has the automated O-ring at the orifice of side branches and of course the basis of the input is in CIDAR artificial intelligence. In conclusion, both systems are supportive in EVAR cases. Vessel Navigator is based on table position and the overlay stays rigid. CIDAR is based on patient's third brain is non-rigid. It can be used in every theater with every setup. It is fully automated and gets smarter over time on the basis of artificial intelligence. And the software updates are included in the subscription and are deployed automatically, like, for example, in our smart cars and smartphones. I'd like to welcome you to our CIDA workshop in collaboration with my associates, Dr. Dinkelman, De Feitig and Vriens. Thank you very much for your attention.